you know, even here on Deep Pet Fried with a bunch of pessimists, there is one special day every year. We put aside our pessimism and embrace optimism. And I think you all know what day that is. Christmas. Tonight on Deep Pet Fried, a loving look at some of the lamest Christmas specials ever made. Ho, 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 and Merry Christmas to you all. Christmas special about lame Christmas specials, huh? Yeah. Ah. You like that, TJ? It's a lame Christmas special, low energy, lame Christmas special, and recovering. Paul said I look like the Santa Claus at a homeless shelter. Well, you he's do. Right. Yeah, well, Santa's falling on hard times. He's like the look Santa at a soup kitchen, bro. Like, <laughs> Merry Christmas. Uh, Merry Christmas to you too. Merry fucking Christmas. Yeah. It's like a the Santa that shit. would like follow you down an uh, an alley <coughs> for a good old robbery and you know possibly. Oh, yeah, I got a, I got a present for you. Uh, so we decided to it's feature down here. Uh, TJ's Christmas tree this year. Uh, TJ looking pretty good. Thanks. I mean, um, I actually prefer a tree like this to that waspy ass perfect Christmas tree that everybody has. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Give me a little tree with some character on it. You know what I mean? I don't want that fucking like. This tree has maybe a little too much character. This maybe. is a unique tree. I, TJ, I'm more impressed that you're able to get lights on this tree. I actually do not do a Christmas tree. Um, I just think they're stupid. Yeah, I'm actually in the Christmas spirit this year. Believe it or not. Like, I have lights up and shit, and, like, I've been, like, buying presents for people and stuff. No, TJ, don't lie. This is, your, this is, in fact, your tree. No, it's not. Yes, it I is. Don't have a, I don't have a fucking tree. Stop. It's not the, my you know what? Tree. No, stop lying. This is your tree. I don't have no fucking goddamn TJ, tree, TJ, don't be embarrassed that your tree is a little wonky looking. Scotty, if I had this tree, I would own it, and I'd be like, this is my bomb This is TJ's tree. No, tree, stop. I'm not, I'm not going gonna, gonna, gonna to die on this hill, TJ. This is right, your tree. Fine. It's my tree. Thanks. Thank you. Yep. All right. Thank you, TJ. Appreciate that. Man. All right, Scotty. How's covered yeah, right. by Vlad TV. Yeah. And Vlad TV was uh, yeah, nice. Vlad to- TV was nice of them to fucking film my tree like that, you know? Indeed. It really Thanks, was. Vlad TV. Vlad TV, good of them to do that. Whatever the fuck you are. <laughs> is this Dracula's tree? Why is it fucking Vlad? T- whatever. Oh, right. Merry Christmas, TJ. Anyway, so tell us about what this, what, what you got, Scotty? What, what is this bullshit? What are we here for? It's fucking Pac-Man. One of the greatest, or actually worst Christmas specials of all time. TJ, Christmas comes to Pac-Land. Made in 1982. Dude, you know this ain't no fucking good. 1982, that's a cut rate year for I- every fucking thing animation. Because like, unfortunately, animated TV shows in the fucking eighties. There was never, there was like never a more fucking cut cornery goddamn time in the history of animation. Maybe the fucking seventies, honestly, like with the like really cheap looking Hanna-Barbera cartoons, but at least those had a little character in the eighties. It was all just like money, 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 money. And so nothing says, yeah, nothing says Christmas, like a Christmas special based on a TV show based on an arcade video game. Hell yeah. And plus, you know, the the plot of Pac-Man so ripe for like an adaptation to this medium. Yeah, especially for I Christmas. Mean, a giant blob that goes. Wah, 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 I mean, know, hey, dude, it was, it was the it was the Pikachu of its time, dude. 
Pac-Man was the Pikachu of his time, TJ. At All least Pokemon has some sort of narrative that you can latch on to. Pac-Man is literally... You were into it. Shut up. No, I'm, no, bullshit. There's fucking... Like, Pokemon at least has... like There's, hey. a, there's a, a something there you can put a story there, to. Look, there's no, a there, world... TJ? Where, pe- where animal hey. fights are, like, acceptable, and you capture animals, and you make them fight each you other. Know what, I mean, though? it sounds horrible, but it is a plot. You know what? Pac-Man is just... You're wrong. Bop, 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 bop. Cheating. Clearly, the capitalistic irony wasn't lo- isn't lost in the creators of this. Oh. So look at what does Pac-Man do? He consumes. What does everyone do on Christmas? They consume. Oh, there yeah. is. Okay. You know what? Fair enough. And the people who made this decided to stay place. away from all this bullshit about family. Good to everyone come together over the true meaning of Christmas. Oh, hell yeah. None of that shit. What we really need to do is buy as much shit and buy as much Pac-Man shit as possible. That is the true meaning of Christmas. Yes. Is it? Is that does the Pac-Man special say this? Uh, so basically what happens, TJ, is Santa okay. crash lands in Pac-Land and Pac-Man and his friends have to help Santa get back on the road or the, the sky, right? Because get yeah, yeah, he's not on the road. Yeah, he's, Santa, on the fu- he's in the fucking sky. He flies. He yeah, flies. He's a flyer. And he's got to deliver all the presents to all the kids and shit. You know what I mean? Okay. Obviously, the ghosts, they show up. There's lots of snow presents and mention over and over again. We get to see Pac-Man doing his thing. All right. Well, let's see. So we have uh, we have some of it here. I, this is actually one of the full special, but we're not going to watch it. Right. Obviously, we're not going to watch it all. Christmas comes to Pac-Land. Oh, oh, oh. Rudolph, uh, so Rudolph's in this? <laughs> all right. Yeah, well, Rudolph is in all of them, man. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. What do you mean? You know, Dasher and what do you think? Dancer Rudolph and- only leads the sleigh in the Rudolph cartoon? Yeah. No, dude. Rudolph is the, the, the lead guy on Santa's sleigh in everything. Every year? I didn't That's know just that. the, uh-huh. Rudolph is just the origin story of Rudolph, dude. Uh, okay. The old block. Come on, Packy. Let's take Pack Baby. That ain't Miss Pac Man. Let's take Packy. That ain't Miss Pac Man. Who the fuck is that bitch? That's oh, I mean, yeah, that's that's who he's back. Bitch. Uh, okay. I mean, Pac- it's his love child. I didn't dude. know Pac Man rolled that way, that's, but okay, because that Pac- ain't Miss Pac Man. That's Pac you know, thought. You know what I'm saying, right? That is not Miss Pac Man. I mean, Miss Pac-Man has a bow on her head and has real red lips. Yeah, that ain't her. Yeah, they got pack pets and everything. Man, this looks this this is pretty lame. This is lame as fuck, bro. Hold on, let's see a little later. Yeah, let's see. Oh, we'll do when Santa let's see Let's see Santa. Okay, that's recycled footage from the beginning. Go on! That's the best fucking... Did they just find the best Santa in the mail it's, room to come voice Santa? Dude, not to mention Santa's, like, beard and face are the same color. Yeah, dude, he's sheet white. Dude. <laughs> Santa's like a ghost. Is he supposed to be, like, ruddy, kind of? Well, he's cold oh. up there, though. He's I mean, it's Santa. Shouldn't Santa kind of be immune to the I mean, cold? They wanted it super easy to do. So, like, the only colors he has anywhere is just red and white. So, there's no. And he barely has the even, no flesh tone. His Everything's reins just red and are white. barely there, too. It's like he's almost holding on to nothing. Yeah. And, like, the reins don't even connect. Like, there's not even a point where they, they're just, like, two separate reins and he's just, like, has to hold them all in those mittens. You know, so there's not good traction there. No wonder Santa's about to crash. Plus, look at his eyes. He's it's, got like one giant fucking pupil and one little tiny one. Googly eyed Santa. Like the eye that's closest to us actually looks smaller. So, yeah, that's pretty fucking freaky. Sir, we're falling behind schedule. Damn. Can't oh, have he was happen. like cockeyed for a second there. Hold on. Take up. Hey, friends. Faster, comet. Faster. We're falling. Behind. What the fuck? Look at falling his, behind. Look at his fucking face, dude. What's going on over here, dude? What's happening with Santa's eye? <laughs> I think we know why Santa's falling behind schedule. His eye, this this one eye is just like kind of wandering off it, into the fucking skull. Well, man. Santa had a, a very fun Christmas Eve. Let's put it that way. Yeah, Jesus. He's got to keep his shit. eyes on a lot of chimneys. You know, maybe he can move his eyes like a chameleon. Yeah, yeah. like independently of one another and shit. Yeah. That's crazy. So I guess, he, oh, he actually has flesh tone in this scene. Well, because cool. he's inside and he's got a cup of cocoa. Yeah, he he's warmed, warmed up a little. Up. Yeah. Pepper, but say, who are you anyway? 
And what are you behind? Who, the, who are you? Pac-Man, what do you mean? Why the fuck does Pac- Pac-Man doesn't know who fucking Santa Dude, Claus is? Land, sell- there, Santa never went to Pac-Land before. Uh, oh, dude, look. Pac-Man's bitch looked mad, too, when he said that. She's like... So, yeah, he, she's like, she knows who it is. She's like, you fucking dumbass. That's fucking God, why Santa. Why the fuck did I marry obviously. fucking Pac-Man? God, Dip he's a shit. idiot. God. Oh, here's the ghosts. All right, let's see if the ghosts are cool. But we ain't as dumb as we... No. We ain't as dumb as we look. We ain't as dumb as we look. So they they, they gave him like those typical villains. Like, oh, I'm dumb. This one probably is like, yeah. Yeah. Let's see. See. Look, on second thought, maybe we are. Give me that, you idiot. Give me that, you idiot. All right. <laughs> this is terrible, Scotty. Fuck you. Why'd you make us? Oh, shit. The Pac-Man police? pac Pack pig? Hey, that sending disc must be in here somewhere. I'm convinced at this point that there's one dude doing every voice in this fucking special, all right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's modulated it. <laughs> These voices barely sound different. I'm pretty sure there's one dude going, It's me, Pac Man, and I'm Mrs. Pac Man, and I'm Santa Claus. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. And I'm one of the ghosts. <laughs> all right. Say, I'm a ghost. Barely different voice guy. You, you you're nailing it. You nailed it good. Let's see. Oh Damn, God. Santa's fucking high as a kite there. Dude, so is Pac Man. Santa, Santa and fucking Pac Man look <laughs> fucking blazed. Dude, what the dude? fuck? Play this. Yeah, what are they doing here, man? It would get prepared. I couldn't make it in time. Oh, they're high. They're oh, high. Oh, dude, Santa's fuck. getting all down or down. Oh, dude, because- look. Pac Man's getting a high idea, though. See that shit? Wait a minute, Santa. <laughs> Get propelled. That's it. We can still save Christmas. Santa, get your sleigh and reindeer and follow me. What does Pac-Man sound like? He's like a pack a day smoker like me. You know what I mean? He's going, like, hey, 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 come on, Santa. Wait a minute. Hey, hey, Santa. Santa. Hey there, I got the name Pac-Man. How you doing, Santa? You're doing a good job. I didn't know who you were a second ago, but now I've got a great idea how to save fucking Christmas. Two yeah. packs a day, man. They call me three pack man. And but it's just no use. Oh, I might well, as this well is face ass. it. I've missed hey, just, my Did Santa's give me the fuck up? What the fuck, Santa? <laughs> well, I guess Christmas is fucked this year. Christmas Pac-Man. is canceled, Pac Man. We just can't do it. All the little boys and girls won't be getting any toys. I give up really easily, Pac Man. Dude, how did Santa fucking make it before? Like, did Santa like what happens when he's fucking one of his reindeer gets I mean, sick or something? You've seen all these fucking specials. Every year, some fucking character has to go fucking save Christmas because Santa's dumbass can't fucking do Dude, it. Dude, Santa just gets lucky every year. Gets bailed out by some great character that just shows up and just fixes all his fucking problems for him. Oh, there's the end. Let's see what. Let's see how it concludes. I, I guess. Oh, even the ghosts get presents. Uh, That's nice. Don't thank us. Thank Santa Claus. Santa Claus? <laughs> Thank Santa Claus. Merry Christmas to all and to Shanta? all a good job. Santa Claus, dude? Thank Santa Claus. Why has okay. Santa done that? Like a Santa Claus, you know what I mean? I don't know. Like a crazy Caribbean Santa Claus that's surrounded by big booty midget yeah. bitches. Oh, yeah. Up, like be, elves. Yeah. Give them some like elf ears and shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, Paul. Now you're talking. I'm onto it, man. That's my Christmas spirit right there. Oh, yeah. What Let's is see this? Fanta Claus. We wish you a turtle Christmas. Oh, dude. Oh, this man, is this, horrible, this is badass, dude. bro. This is great. This is I loved this. Like when this? I was a kid. OK, uh, you, you, when you were a kid, uh, you were uh, 14 when it came out. But OK, um, <laughs> I mean, uh, this live action 14, teenage dude. Mut- I mean, uh, I wouldn't say that a kid. You'd be a teenager. <laughs> uh, the live action Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles special is full of the gift giving spirit, guys. Uh, but with no real conflict, uh, it's pretty bland. Uh, but lots of singing. The turtles being teenagers forget to give Master Splinter a gift until the last minute. Who doesn't oh, do that? Fucking dumbass. So of course, they got to head to the bro. surface to pick up something and finally decide on a plastic pizza. That's right. Yummy. Yep. Yeah. Wait, man. 
They fucking get. That's not what Splinter goddamn wants. Like, Those uh, fucking little pieces. Yeah. Of well, shit. you know what? Bullshit. Because we're gonna see what Splinter wants. All right. Go ahead and uh, skip to one forty six. I mean, I don't think you really want to know what Splinter really wants. You know? Oh what I fuck. Mean? Oh okay. Hey kids, what do you think? I we, thought this was the animated one. We need more lights. Hell we no. Need more lights. They're coming. They're this ah! is the fucking like. So Leo has a Jamaican accent for some one? reason. Lame. Yeah, this, yeah, is, yeah, this, this is live action. One. I liked the cartoon. There was a cartoon Christmas special that they did. Well, that'd be that would be picked like best holiday specials, Paul. We're picking lamest. Yeah, this is not our Christmas special. Sorry. Yeah, dude. No, no. This is animated. Are you kidding? And it's even worse what? than the ones in the movies. They're just like their their mouths are awful in this. Yeah, I mean, look at their suits. Like, I don't know. Well, I mean, the, the Jim Henson did the one for the fucking movies, at least the first go two. Ninja, go Ninja, go. So Jim Henson did not <laughs> come back for yeah, this shit. He, so. he, didn't, he didn't come back. Hoping we sing my favorite Christmas song. Take the holes with pepperoni. Fa la 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 la. Mustard, eggplant, and baloney. Fa la. <laughs> Man, that face says it all, dude. I I would like you know what I would like to deck the halls with pepperoni, <laughs> mustard, eggplant, and bologna. Yeah, like and for some reason, mushroom, eggplant, and bologna. Oh, uh, was it? I thought it was mustard. For some reason, they gave Leonardo a uh, Jamaican accent. Pepperoni. Don't know why, but they did. Mustard, eggplant, and bologna. I'm sure he says mustard there. I mean, why would you put mustard on a pizza? That's fucking I don't ridiculous. know. Cause you're fucking I think because it rhymes. I think it's the only but reason. But mushroom. No, it doesn't rhyme. It's the beginning of the line. It doesn't even need to rhyme. It could be anything. It well, just, go back and let's, let's slow it down. What was he saying? He, he says, said mustard he for says, sure. It's for sure mustard, bro. He says mustard. Santa Claus will bring his reindeer. So wait a minute, though. When I didn't know Leonardo was Jamaican. Yeah, he's Jamaican. He's Jamaican, dude. I mean, this is like, is it cultural appropriation when you have a mutant turtle do it? <laughs> I, I, uh, I don't I don't. Do they know. have a culture? Can't, can't they just, you know what I mean? I mean, I mean, he's from New York. They right? already appropriated the shit out of like Asian culture, right? So, you know. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know, man. He's not. I mean, he's a turtle. I mean, so they're turtles. So like, what culture? I mean, they can pretty much pick they're, whatever they're, culture they want. Are they like Jamaican, human, right? Jamaican, maybe. Yeah, maybe. I don't fucking know. In the sewer, I will take Well, this is terrible, Scotty. Uh, my favorite one though, TJ. Skip to twelve fifty. Twelve fifty. I think you're gonna really like this one, TJ. Really? This is really gonna get you in the spirit of you Christmas. Think it's gonna get me in the spirit of Christmas. Yeah, and I know you said you're in the spirit, but I think this is this is a, a special get song. Even deeper. Oh my god! Look at his fucking face. He looks creepier than the fucking weird ass monkey that fucking Paul pulled, dude. They got dude, the same teeth. Deck the halls with pepperoni, dude. Okay. You'd like it. My sons, children, please gather around. <laughs> Splinter. So what is a ball of fluff? A gerbil. <laughs> yeah, he looks like a fucking hamster. He looks or like something. a gerbil. Yeah, he's not a rat in this one. They didn't really. even make him just, a, like rat esque. They just put put him in like a fucking shitty Wookiee suit. And he looks like he just crawled out of Richard Gere's ass. It, it, it literally looks like they swept up the floor of a barber shop at the oh, end yeah. of business and just fucking <laughs> balled all the hair together and plopped it on somebody's face. <laughs> yeah, it's horrible, man. That's the worst. What's happening? On the first day of Christmas, the turtles gave to me a pizza with pepperoni. Mm. Nice. That's not a pizza that's a, with pepperoni. That pepperoni looks horrible. What is this pizza? Looks horrible. Look it's at a, it. It's a plastic pizza. What is it? It's not. It's plastic <laughs> wrapped. It's like one of those shrink wrapped pizzas so that he could oh, okay. cook it later. All right. On the day of Christmas, the turtles gave to me two comic books and a pizza. So right. comic books, that's not bad. They did they did yeah, all right by Splinter. Look at this fucking pizza though. Yeah. That pizza looks like fucking ass, dude. Well especially for New York. 
Uh, yeah, they're in New, New York, York fucking city, bro. I mean, they can get a like, fucking slice of pizza and why, however they want. The pepperoni looks fucking black. I mean, like, what is going on with the fucking pepperoni on this fucking pizza? It black looks like is really happy too. It looks like there's volcanic activity on the surface of that pizza. Like, <laughs> it does, man. Like <laughs> that pizza's not done fucking. What's going on here? Forming or whatever. Oh my god, it's about to erupt! There's a couple of Mount Vesuviuses on that motherfucker. And a pizza with pepperoni. Three skateboards seems a little excessive, but I guess, you know, if Splinter shreds a lot, he, he goes through those boards a lot, you know. So I mean, man. Splinter Splinter needs a lot of fucking gifts, dude. Splinter's not happy with just a couple presents. Yeah, you, know, you just give him a pizza with pepperoni. He needs comic books. He needs skateboards. He needs a lot of stuff. I just expect Splinter. I mean, Splinter's trained the turtles at all. He's pretty much given up his life for the turtles. They deserve to give him a good Christmas. All right, I want to see if we can get to the end of this fucking shit. Let's see. When does this fucking song end? I want to get through the whole fucking list. You want to hear everything that he got? All right. They're only the seventh day, but man, this is really a fucking time sink here. Did they not go through the whole thing? I think right there, maybe. I'm a sherry. No, oh, a little bit. Try there. All right. Seven of kimono. Seven of kimono. Six All right, so here. Okay. Close enough. Are you guys not in the Christmas spirit now, man? You you took what? me out of the Christmas spirit, Scotty. Yeah. I now hate Christmas. I was actually I picked I picked this picture to represent me for this episode because I was actually filled with mirth, like so much Christmas mirth that only this. This monkey could capture even a tenth of what I was feeling in my heart. And now that you've showed me these two things, Scotty, what I'm little sorry, bit guys. of the little snowflake in my heart melted. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, what about the next one? What is this? This is the year without a Santa Claus. Okay. Oh, you mean like every year? Because <laughs> he's. A made up. So you know, you guys might have heard this. Uh, go back uh, down a little bit, teacher. No, so, I don't want to go down a little bit, teacher. Just tell us about it from your from your memory, Scotty. Uh, okay, let me uh, see. Uh, the 1974, the year without a Santa Claus, is one of Rakin Bass's better holiday offerings. But the uh, the 2006 live action remake reeks of a unnecessary cash in through and through. I think we're about to see why. That's one of our favorite uh, reoccurring guests here on uh, Deep Fat Fried. Uh, Chris Catan is going to. Chris Catan is in this? Yes. Going to show us why. Gross. Oh, look at Sparky at the Toy Expo. Toy it's Sparky. In the 21st century. What is that? Is that felt? Um, no. A little sexual assault. Right. You are looking at Santa's exclusive toy line for the 21st century. Do you remember Hat Police? No. Poor John Goodman. Yeah, why is John Goodman in this? He makes a pretty Once upon a good time, Santa, though. Santa had the biggest toy line in the world. We surrendered our market position to the multinational toy manufacturers. But now that I, Nathaniel, Sparky, that is the third, am in charge, we're taking it back. Once again, when kids think of toys... Well, Chris Kattan is like Chris Kattan much is horrible. about uh, he's about twelve sheets to the wind. He's yeah. off. He's off the goo. He's drunk. He's ta- he popped a few fucking downers or something before he started this. This is definitely okay. he's deep in his cups. Let's put it that way. I think it, it looks like John Goodman is too. I think I think basically. They just they all they all got together, got drunk, and just turned some cameras on. It's like, all right, we're making a movie. Yeah, either that or these guys just really needed like a a check that would hit sometime around Christmas. You know what I mean? Hey, you guys want a quick fucking paycheck? 
No quality required, no effort needed. Yeah. So Chris Kattan basically plays a annoying elf who is going to modernize Santa's operation. So just play a little more, TJ. All right. Santa Claus. Ah! Those are my ears! Great acting. Cut! Is this the high-tech toy of the future, Santa? Santa, Santa Claus, not Circuit City. Yeah, favorite, yeah, dude. About- he's I'm fucking- Santa Claus, not Circuit City. Dude, he's almost yeah, as drunk as when he was uh, uh, a turt, like a fucking transformer. He's, oh yeah, he's almost That's fat true. ballerina drunk. You know what I mean? I'm a fat ballerina. But now that I, Nathaniel, Sparky. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's the fuck? I want to see that well, fucking. Get, fast forward. Let's We're see some. Let's back. see something else other Once than this again, fucking horrible scene. They're gonna think Santa Claus. Like go all the go like go middle away through this motherfucker. Yeah, keep going, TJ. What the fuck? And what's he do? Who cares? It's not easy being Santa Claus. I'm not Santa Claus anymore. I'm a toy delivery division of Santa Co. Mama, whatever happened to the spirit of Christmas? Oh man. Yeah, whatever happened to it, man? Guys, whatever happened to that? Now he's... Well, I'll tell you what happened to it this year. Scotty fucking killed it in the cradle. That's not that's not true at all, man. Uh, what if it you guys Christmas? need to put that sour expression down. You guys need to drop the you know, pessimism for a day. And let's all come together and celebrate Christmas and be happy. Can you imagine watching an hour and 28 minutes of this shit? I can't an believe it's feature length. It's... Hey, that guy. Deliver presents to a bunch of people who don't give a hoot in the first place. Tell me about it. <laughs> no matter what you give I don't know if I've ever seen John Goodman give a shittier performance than this, honestly. He's drunk. Oh, dude, he's, yeah, he's, 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 not not even, he's not even drunk. He's, he's drunk. drunk, and he doesn't care, and... He's phoning it in. Yeah, I mean, yeah. like, yeah, like, he's drunk, and he doesn't give a shit. He's yeah. basically, like drinking to, so he can even bring himself to say that I mean there's, shit. there's not eggnog in those cups right over there no. well there might be but there's a little something else in the eggnog like, you, know? you know it's a little spiky I mean if Santa you mean like a touch of cream or whatever or eggnog yeah and uh, mostly vodka sure alright let's see what the fuck is this guy oh Ethan it's uh, Ethan Soupley yeah, Ethan Soupley's in it too yeah you didn't know that he was still fat yeah he was on his way Here, down from put some of these fat, on so yeah he's not in his local American History X was like where he topped out, man. He was blubba motherfucking gumptious in that. Yeah, here he's like not quite as fat now. I don't uh, know if he's Eddie still Griffin he got fat again. Yeah, I mean, there's a bunch of fuck, a bunch of people cash so this the is paycheck like, on this motherfucker. You yeah, know what this I mean? is like them trying to do one of them old school like Rat Pack Christmas specials where they get all the celebrities that are cool of the day and like have them do a thing, but. Instead, they got Eddie Griffin and Ethan Soupley. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, Ethan Soupley's kind of cool, but like he's man. cool, but like, is he like a draw? You know what I mean? Do you no, really want to see him? a draw? I mean, he's Chris like, Catan is a character definitely actor. Not, you know, he's definitely not a draw either. But they, he got cast. I mean, Chris Catan at least had some name wreck at the time. Now, I mean, this is 2006, it. though. This is after because he, he was he had name wreck in the 90s when he was doing like Mango and shit on. He, this is a well after his career had gone. Well, they probably needed some annoying, obnoxious character. And, what know. was that shit? He did that movie. What was the, When did he do Bucky that? Bucky Romano? Bucky do, Desperado uh, or whatever. <laughs> what was his name? Was a, hold on. It was a... a Howard the Duck. Taxi? Was he in that one? Or was that <laughs> Taxi Driver? He was in Taxi Driver? Shit. No, no, no. The one with fucking Queen Latifah. Wasn't he in that one? Or was that... No, that was Jimmy uh, Fallon. That was dude. Jimmy Fallon. I always get them confused. Sorry. Same Sorry, thing. They're, they're, they're basically the same person. Yeah, Corky Romano was 2001. By 2005, he was, yeah, he was doing shit like he played, he was in Santa's Sleigh the year before. Whoa. It was like one of those Christmas slasher movies. Oh. So, yeah, he was pretty much, yeah, he was done by this time. Yeah, that's true. Come on, cool. Where'd you get those? You know how many clothes designers want to sponsor multi dimensional elves? Dude, Eminem should. It, uh, should do like a, a line and and a song like you know back with the back when Ethan Soupley was fucking fat you know like that he needs some new ones of those yeah because he'd have to go you know that takes me back thinking about a fat Soupley 
It's almost like that the guy that we're looking at in this, the the Supley that we're seeing here, died. Yeah, you know, he's not around no more. Yeah, like he's gone. See him again. Maybe he'll get fat again, dude. Maybe he'll be like he's still oh, a little chunk chunk here. That'd be tragic, dude, if he got like that shredded and then went and just got like huge again. What if he does like what if he like misses being fat and he's just like, you know what, I'm I don't want to lose my muscle. But if he goes the fuscular route, dude, what if he's like you know what? I'm going to be fat and ripped, you know? What if he Maybe gets like, tired of going to, like, tryouts and shit for movies, and they're like, oh, man. If oh, only you we thought still... you were still fat. Yeah, oh, we... sorry, Ethan. We were looking for a fat guy. Yeah, we, need, we really need a big, fat guy for this. And it's just like, like, fuck it. Who the fuck wants to cast a big old muscle fucking dude in their movie, you know? I mean, I guess yeah. if you, like, maybe for, like, the main character, like, he's not, like, I don't know. Like, there's not like a fucking goofy muscle man sidekick character for shit. You know what I mean? No. Yeah, dude, Ethan Silver needs to get fat again. Well, he's fuscular. Let me see what he looks like these days. I don't know if fucking find him. Yeah. Yeah, he's still fucking all ripped and shit. You know, his the his muscle does look kind of weird. Probably because he was so fat for so well, long. Well, yeah, though. it's true fussle. You know what I mean? Because there's like, I think like the the fact that he had excess sin skin made his muscles excess like sin. form weird. Yeah, it does look a little weird. I will say. Here, let me fucking show you what I'm talking about. I don't mean to like distract from like the main premise of this shit or whatever, but uh, here, I'll just put it on this screen since we're done with this anyway. You see what I mean? Like, yeah, he's got loose skin. You can see like the loose yeah, skin he's down got there. Loose skin. Because he used to be this fucking fat, you know. He used to be fucking. Yeah, like, but he's not fucking, fucking fat anymore. Shit. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, who the fuck? What you gonna do with him now? What you gonna cast him in these days? You know what I mean? Nothing. Can't do it, man. Can't do it. He's done. He's done. His goose is fucking cooked, man. They ain't fucking put no fucking muscle bound Ethan Supley and shit. No one wants that shit. Well, you know, TJ. <sighs> Maybe I'm wrong. Let me see his fucking IMDb page here. I guess he's still getting work. Yeah. You know, last work was in 2020, but he does have two things in post production, so I guess it's fine. All right, fair enough. I guess he's still working. Man, I look like you're trying to bring the spirit, uh, spirit of Christmas down, TJ. Oh, uh, yeah. What well, for? I walking this. Uh, so yeah, this. I forgot I was. They do fucking like low budget Helena Bonham Carter at some point. And you know, most people <laughs> Mother Nature. <laughs> oh god. Whoa. All right. Well, yeah. that was horrifying. So this is like Mother Nature. Bastard. Whoa. What is happening? I think you've got my my reindeer. <laughs> no, I don't. I think Are you, you got sure? my reindeer. Are you high? Answers to the name of Vixen? Are you too late for someone already got it? Somebody I got hey, You know what? I'll say one thing for this movie. There's a lot of fat fucks in this movie, dude. Fat drunk people love this movie. Yeah, there's like a lot of fat drunks. A lot of fat drunk like actors. Cash cash. Yeah. This, a lot of- this dude is like realized, I think, that, uh, that fucking John Goodman is checked out. And he's like, maybe I could like steal the scene as like the better fat dude in the scene, you know? Maybe. Maybe I can upstage Goodman. Maybe that'll be how my career too, really though. gets going, you know? Who? Who wants to know? See, he's like overacting it, you know? Who wants to know? Nah, see, Goodman still got it. Even though he's a terrible performance, but Goodman I'm still just got saying, it. I think that's what's going through this dude's mind. I'm not saying he succeeds at it. I don't know. It's not like you were saying that. Uh oh. I do. Oh shit! John Goodman fucking re- John Goodman picked up on the fact that the guy is doing that, and he's like, "Uh oh, time to bring out Walter, man." I ain't being upstaged by no other fat dude. Fuck this. Okay, it was the mayor's kid, Iggy Thistlewhite. Oh, anyway. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You win. You're the better fat actor. I'm sorry, John. I'm sorry. I tried, John Goodman. Well, he's in hell now. You sing the praises of sunstroke and heat prostration. I'll see what I can do about it. Meanwhile, okay. I came to ask. So that's like a live action heat miser, basically. Yeah. Do they sing the song? I'm pretty sure they do. Where the fuck is that? I want to see them try to fucking sing the heat miser song. Maybe here. No, they don't. They're not together when they sing it. Oh, I'm sure they didn't mean to. I'm sure they didn't mean to. I'm sure it's all well and good. Dude, the guy playing the heat miser is the, it, it, like that gay guy from uh, fucking Independence Day that's like, I gotta call my mother. Gotta call my lawyer. Ah, screw my lawyer. 
I gotta call my mother. Oh. Is it? Bring here! Help! Yeah, it is. It's Santa Claus. I gotta call my mother. Oh, and I told they... you Santa is flying tonight. He is? Oh, I'm sorry. My bad. Oh, wait. I just remembered. He's not here. Oh, my God, man. I He's hate to fucking here. wish ill on people, but could a truck just run over fucking Chris Catan, please? <laughs> it's the big Mac oh, truck. Oh, Paul, Paul, Paul. This is a Christmas episode. A I truck mean, for full, like a, a truck Christmas. full of candy okay. canes, Paul. All right, a truck yeah. all right, full of candy canes. and and marshmallow cream. Yeah. All right, I'll amend my statement. Okay, can a Big Mac truck done up in the Christmas Coke thing? You know, with the Christmas Better. Christmas Coke mural, please run over Chris Catan a few times. On okay. The- yes. Better, better, better. That's much more Christmas yeah. spirit. We don't want Good. Chris to be killed by an in- a nondescript truck. Yeah, he can't just be killed by some random truck. Oh, random Christmas. truck killed Chris Catan. No. A Coca-Cola truck with a polar bear <laughs> lit up like Sam doing this, and it's like, oh! <laughs> then he splatted. You know, you know what I, which truck I would pick to run over Chris Catan if I could have my druthers, though, if I wasn't yeah, was having that? to worry about like the holiday. Yeah. I would have the fucking Jeepers Creepers truck run him over. Mm, yeah, that's a cool truck. The eating you or beating you or be eating you. Creepers, creepers, where'd yeah. you get them peepers? What's that? And that means the CEO can decide who delivers the toys to all the good little girls and boys. Or that big goblin truck from Maximum Overdrive. I guess that kid was the end. No, I ran. The The forecast. Oh, whatever. It's not like we know what's going on anyway. No chance of precipitation. Instead, yeah, I'm random business cocksucker. All right. I think this is like the mayor of the town. You know what the the Christmas miracle will be? I'll let you know what the Christmas miracle will be this year. If this episode actually ever sees the light of day, because we've shown we're to doing nothing but watching shit that's probably going to trigger flags. Uh, that'll be fine. No one fucks. Oh, yeah. no, no one cares about this shit. Yeah, uh, famous last fucking words. No one fucking Every time no we do an episode that's full of these fucking things, it gets a fucking goddamn strike. It ain't getting nothing. You know what, Paul? You're just and being I'll a little sourpuss on Christmas. Slay's ready, Santa. You gotta have the. You gotta believe in a Christmas miracle. Thank you, Clop. Yeah. All right. Well, anyway, it all gets back restored. And guess what? Great fucking Santa, whatever. Dude, Santa sit on a beach. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Christmas beach. All right. What else we got here? Nah, I pity the fool doesn't like this special, dude. I pity the fucking fool. What is this? Mr. T's and Emmanuel and Lewis. Emmanuel Lewis at in a Christmas dream. A nineteen four. Yeah. Uh, TJ, uh, I have some uh, markers here. Uh, the Song of a Child. Skip to 3005. 3005. Close enough. That's close enough, yeah. Oh, no. Is that Brewster? Billy, I'm a singer all year round. But at Christmas time, everybody's a singer. At Christmas time, everybody's a singer? So, no, so um, normally you fucking... Wrong. You lesser people aren't allowed to sing. But at Christmas... Everyone can sing. Everyone can sing. Even it's people, actually, even the, it's actually, like you, Billy. it's actually just that way. It's like there are lesser people that should never sing, and it includes Christmas. Yeah. And at Christmas time, everybody sounds great. No, they don't. Tea. They sound like come shit year it? round. Uh, oh, come on, Maestro! Hey! Yeah, come on. <laughs> Put TJ's, the kid on the spot. TJ's favorite thing: the song of a child. The song of a child. <laughs> It's not even a real child either. This is yeah, Emmanuel it's Lewis. It's like a robot. It's well, a robot. Emmanuel Lewis has that, like, um, I can't remember what it is, but whatever it is. That's, that All right. Much. I'm pulling the plug on this bullshit. It's like uh, 35. What? I right, go to 42, uh, 42, 48 is when Mr. T is going to tell us the story of Christmas. So. Yeah. Let's hear the story of Christmas. But there's still just one thing you don't know about that night. And that is that the baby smiled. From all the books that I've read, 
from all the songs that I've heard, from all the historical records that I've seen. The yeah, I can just imagine Mr. T pouring over the historical dude, records. He was, dude. He was at the Vatican. He was scouring records. He He's was like, going Did to the Jerusalem. baby Jesus smile? He Did in, he smile? He was in the manger in Bethlehem looking it up. TJ's like, Did he smile? I must know. Did the baby Jesus smile? That have spoken. From all the scholars that have spoken. And the teachers, the preachers, the priests, and yes, even the prophets. Not one of them could tell us whether or not that baby smile. Man, that, that is always been the dilemma. Uh, did the baby, did the baby Jesus smile? That's always a question I've had too. Have you guys not had that question? Well, if he was, was a baby newborn, Jesus smiling? if he was a newborn, he wasn't smiling anyway. Even if he did, when newborns make that "I'm smiling" face, it's usually because they're crapping themselves or farting. What? That's fine. that's not very Christmas like, Paul. It's true. Baby Jesus did smile when he first crapped in his pants. No, uh, we don't know if that baby smiles at night, but all of us, right here and right now, should make a promise that during this Christmas season, man, they gathered all these people around to have to pretend to fuck it. <laughs> Fucking reverently listen to Mr. T's rambling. No, you need to make a nonsense. promise right now, TJ. You need to make a promise right now. All right. What's my promise? And every Christmas season, you should help somebody who yes. needs help. All right. I'm going to help myself by not watching anymore. Of this. <laughs> what? I'm going to help myself to a second helping of whatever I eat next. How's that? <laughs> yeah, there you go. All right. I want a bonus bad movie Ugh. to round out the episode. The Santa Claus 3. The Escape Clause, TJ. We've actually looked at this a few times. Too bad. The second clause. Whatever. We don't need to watch the trailer. Next fucking... Uh, this is, a, <laughs> How about this the, is the world premiere of it. I guess we... Yeah, it's our buddy Tim. It's Tim Allen. Experience. We shot it here in Los Angeles, so everybody got to be with their families. So the mood was really cool. Then the story on top of that was... Lem- we shot it all in a fucking soundstage here in Los Angeles. Yeah, nothing, we, we shot it on the cheap. Nothing was on location anywhere. <laughs> it's all here in a soundstage. So, you know, everyone could just go home at the end and, you know. Yeah, it was great. Mood was good. Everyone Back in all of us, it was about three or four years ago, we decided the only way to do this is if we could come up with something that would startle us. And it was a wonderful... Yeah, that... that oh, yeah, I believe that fucking yeah. narrative. Everyone so, here needs a paycheck. You know, the only way we do a Santa Claus three is if we can come up with a story so compelling that even wow, we're just even amazed at ourselves. You know, it's like wow. we're startled. I'm 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 startled by how brilliant I am. Wow, it's just crazy. Something so tells good. me that it was startling how big the mountain of cocaine at these fucking creative meetings was. Do you think that was snow on set? <laughs> Full life theme. Okay. What happens if Santa? Santa's not around. We threw in Jack Frost as the one that takes it away. Marty Short. Yeah. Oh my God, so that is inspired. I yeah, mean, you know, it's great. You think about it. I mean, it's fucking totally. What if inspired. Santa's not around? What if Santa wasn't around? What if it's like a time weird time travel plot? That makes sense, right? Man, yeah, not at all. Startles us here. The guys I'm that startled. made the Santa Claus one and two. I mean, that idea is so out of the fucking woodwork that Jesus. It even startled us. It destroyed. I mean, like the talk about a paradigm shift. You know what I mean? It's just like whoa. And Holy Marty shit. Short too. I mean, come on, come the fuck on, people. <laughs> Leave it to little Martin. <laughs> oh yeah, Martin is is once again. He's one of us. He's out of. And Worf is in it. Worf. Worf. Yeah. Why the fuck is Worf in it? I don't know, dude. He needed a paycheck, man. And, uh, you know, this movie is without honor. He's out of his mind. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. And then there's this door. Dude, was that Worf's wife with him there? I think so. I kind of yeah, like Ty right? Thicky. You want to see again? Here you go. She's okay. like distracted over there. She's not even looking. She's just like, I don't give a fuck about this shit. One of us. He's out of. He's out of his mind. Yeah. You know, Worf had to cash a paycheck. You know how it goes. And there's this doofus. So we're working with Tim Allen again. So what's the one thing that we don't see? I'm know? Eric Lloyd. Who gives a shit? No one gives a fuck. What is this? Is this that song number again? No, TJ, it's not. Dude. This is that fucking song. No, number. it's not. Man. I know it is. No, it's not. I know it is because we fucking made no, fun of this. No, it's not. We've watched this on this show no, like three haven't. times so far. No, we haven't, TJ. How the fuck does this fucking stupid <laughs> song keep coming up on our fucking show? <laughs> 
<laughs> Play the song, TJ. Play the song, TJ. It's the best way to end Christmas. Start spreading the news <laughs> by gentle, by slave. TJ, don't you oh. listen to the song? I mean, I, we get copyright if we actually listen All to the whole right, fucking TJ, song. All right, TJ, fine. I remember there's a really stupid part when he starts going down the stairs here, so. Very hot of it. No. Not yet. All right, this is it. And he starts going down the stairs here. No man up where no man's without a treat. And watch the. Scotty. Uh, just so you guys know, overwhelmingly positive reviews for this movie. You can skip that real quick. Mm. Yeah. Uh, beloved. Uh, special effects are in abundance. Uh, they were all startled, too. Uh, <laughs> Look at them. Where the fuck is this all? Lo- beloved by all. I mean, as you can clearly see here, those are actually stars for each one. A happy star. While it may concern elves and Christmas, the Santa Claus 3 escape clause is very happy and very cheery. Okay. Uh, there's no escaping the happiness of it all. A little uh, Christmassy, uh, not at all derivative, but what do we expect, really? Nothing but perfection. So Daddy. all over the positive reviews and the box office, TJ, to round it out, made tons of money, man. Look at that. $110 million, TJ. Not bad, huh? Uh, not bad. Uh, what do you want that for? Uh, uh. So, TJ, at the end of this episode here, do you feel the true spirit of Christmas? flowing through your veins now um it depends is the true spirit of christmas feel at all like an overwhelming urge to puke uh it can then maybe if that's what you want for christmas then yes it's not what i want that's what you need tj mm. what, what about you need an christmas? overwhelming urge to kill people to stab people uh that's definitely christmas you know yeah blood is red and red is associated with christmas right? i mean look there's been a lot of bloody christmases you know paul so. you know what i have a green knife yeah. if we go around and stab people with green knives and get their red blood on our green knives that's very what could be more right? festive than that only if we're stabbing white people if we're stabbing white people exclusively with a green knife and then get red blood on it then you got all the christmasy colors there yeah wow man there's nothing more christmasy than that Let's i'm get glad you guys have found the true spirit of christmas hey yeah hell yeah don't stab people <laughs> bye bye <laughs>